just to be safe, we're going to grab the old PP blaster. <laughs> PP blaster. <laughs> oh, got loose. Margaret Colbert, Speed Recovery Financial Network. All right, we have the beloved YouTube star, infamous, everybody knows what it is, Dong Yang, my 2.0 Turbo 2013 Genesis. I gotta say right off the bat, this is probably one of the best cars I've ever owned. Um, it just, it's just awesome. Uh, you know, when you're not, got, don't got your foot in it, you know, this car gets over 30 miles per gallon um yet puts down uh well over 300 horsepower however this car does have 160,000 miles on it no oil leaks no engine noise no nothing this is a great car but it is time to service that rear diff all right so first things first we have the vivor um air gun ratchet thingamabobber you can use a 24 which it's got a little bit of play to it a 15 16 will work a little bit better. However, this socket is kind of thick compared to the Vivor one. And it doesn't like to slip. You see we got this thing in the way. It doesn't like to slip all the way around the whole bolt. You see I got a little corner of it hanging off there. But if you come down to the bottom, it fits on snug with zero play. Just judging by the way them bolts look, look like it ain't ever been done. Hopefully we won't come into any surprises. Just to be safe, we're going to grab the old PP blaster. <laughs> PP blaster. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to squirt it with some PP blaster and uh, hope they come out. I always want to make, you always want to, just common sense guys, we're going we're gonna to take out the top one first. Because if we take out the bottom one and we drain all the gear oil out of it, but then we can't get the top one out to fill it back up, uh, yeah, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't going to be driving your car for a while, to say the least. All right, so we got some PP blaster up there. Let that sit. We're going to get some down here. Just a little bit. Oh, got loose. Oh, yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I bet you that bolt ain't ever been out, guys. I bet you that thing ain't ever been out. We got our Vivor 20 gallon oil drain thingy my bobber. I have been using the heck out of this thing. And it's very easy to roll around when it ain't got nothing in it. I would recommend um, only letting it get about half full. Um, and then draining it because it's it is very hard to move when it's full All right, so we're going to completely take this top bolt out that way when we go to Oh, Jeez take the bottom one out. Oh, that's stinky When we take the bottom one out Hello common sense Airflow can push the fluid out All right, see if we can get this one without Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe it has been done before. These threads ain't very forgiving. This fluid is actually not terrible. All right, so while your oil is draining, take your fingernail. 
If you can see your finger now through the fluid, it ain't that bad. That's just a typical, it's a, you know, redneck trick, whatever. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that drain out really good. I gotta run to the bank. Um, gotta go talk to some people about a loan for something that I haven't quite announced yet. Kinda have, kinda haven't, but off to the bank we go. We'll be back in about an hour. One hour later. Now, a quick shout out to today's sponsor for today's video. We have AN Puds. They sell uh, torque wrenches. You guys can see they sent us these really nice kits. This one is a 3 8 kit. Comes with a, even comes with a bunch of different sockets and whatnot. This one is a quarter inch kit, little tiny one. And we got this one right here. This is uh, electric. So, you know, put, put, we'll put some batteries in it and we'll set it to whatever torque spec we need. I'm not sure the exact torque spec on the back of this here rear diff, but we're going to find that out on good old Google. Set to the torque spec, beaks when you're at the proper torque spec, and, uh, you know, good to go. Now, the easiest angle I find to get your hose in the rear diff and also be able to pour your, your fluid in if you don't have one of the easy squeeze baggy thingamabobbers is running it over the rear control arm and that way it gives you you know it gives us enough angle to kind of tilt the bottle up this way and, and get the fluid in So all you do is you get your bottle of gear oil, whichever one you choose, you thread this thingy on. This was six bucks. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna slide it, slide it through here and put it in the hole and give it a squeeze. All right, push that fluid in there. All right, second bottle coming in. Looks like we got a little bit of, little bit of fluid. All right, so once you start seeing fresh fluid drip out, you're done. That's it. Right. So there you guys have it. Something quick you can do to your little hot rod to help it operate maximum efficiency, maximum horsepower, maximum gas mileage, if you care about that, um, and just help improve your ride. Big shout out to Ann Puds who sent me the torque, torque wrench sets. Um, that was a big help. I'll definitely be using those in the future. They sent us a lot of stuff. Like I said, these, I think these are like little angle wrenches or whatever. Um, quarter inch set, three inch, three inch set, and then the electrical battery powered one. Um, all really cool stuff. I'll definitely be using it in my shop. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. New videos every week.